Parshat Vayigash continues the story of Joseph and his brothers. Joseph and his brothers, the story of tribulations and suffering and final victory, is a story that is very different from most of the stories that we find in the Torah. Here, we never find miracles occurring. In the book of Genesis, we often find God appearing or speaking or acting miraculously to save his people. But in the story of Joseph and his brothers, we never find any appearance of God, any miracles, anything out of the ordinary. And this is also true from another aspect, from the human towards divine aspect, we also find that there are no prayers, there is no turning to God in supplication that we find so often in the book of Genesis and in the Torah as a whole. How, do we how are we to understand this unique difference between the book of Joseph, the story of Joseph, and the stories of the Torah? I suggest that we should understand the story of Joseph as a wisdom story. The wisdom people of ancient Israel were sages who had a very sophisticated and somewhat more secular approach to the world and to God. And so they will tell stories and narrate events in a more secularized, less overtly divine way. And this, I think, is, explains how it is that Joseph never prays, and all of God's actions, though depicted clearly in the story of Joseph as taking place behind the scenes, never comes to expression overtly in clear acts that can be seen. What can we learn from the fact that we have the story in the Torah? Many people today feel that they cannot identify with the synagogue. They don't have a sense that they can pray and that they can have a personal relationship with God. And then they feel that somehow they are excluded from Jewish life. And perhaps if we appreciate properly the story of Joseph, we can understand that there is another way of engaging in God, with God and engaging in Jewish life. And this is the way of wisdom. This is the way of learning and of thinking and of study. This is the way that was represented by Joseph. And this is the way that is still open for all of us today.